I'm here on the floor of the Catholic Marketing Network with artist and author Joseph Melham. So thanks for being with us. Thank you, Bonnie. It's nice to be here. Good. Thanks and I'm excited. You know, this will be a first for us. Somebody's at work while we're uh, doing the interview. Uh, I love to watch other people work, so this is great. Uh, so you are writing an icon. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes, yeah, so I'm writing an icon. And uh, this is an icon uh, based on a Russian template uh, called the, uh, the Virgin of the Way, pointing to the Christ child who is the way, the, the way to our salvation. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. I love all the various Marian titles, and that's the first time I've heard. Yeah, Virgin of the Way. way. That's beautiful. Yeah, isn't that nice? <clears throat> and now, so typically, you know, I'd come by and I'd look at this and I'd say, oh, so he's drawing or he's painting. Mm -hmm. But you're writing an icon. So tell us the difference. The, uh, the, the difference is that uh, actually the, the term is derived from the Greek words for painting and writing. And I'm not going to try to attempt Greek. I'm half Greek, but still my Greek is really lousy. It's all Greek to me. It's, uh, it's even worse <laughs> to me. Sure. But the word for writing and painting in Greek is almost identical, oh. uh, with, the, with the root word uh, graphos. So to them, there's no distinction. Sure. But there's also a spiritual reality because what we're doing, and when we're writing an icon, is we are revealing scripture. We are revealing the written word, which is the image. So in a spiritual sense, there is the word and the image, but there is no difference. The word is the image, and sure. the image is the word. So yes. that's uh, it does have a, 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 a deeper, profound meaning. Wow, that's beautiful. So in, in in addition to its writing an icon, I also see that you're working in some different materials. Like there's gold leaf here, and this looks like some kind of paint. So tell us about the materials that you use in an icon. Yeah, the uh, the materials as you as uh, they'll find out if uh, when you read the book when, when you read the book yeah. and uh, drawing closer to Christ is that every step of the way has a spiritual correlation. Okay. Nothing is arbitrary. It's almost like a, like a ballet. Everything has a resonance. Colors, forms, gestures, has a deeper spiritual correlation. So the wood that we use yeah. is the wood of the cross. It's not only durable and stable, it's the, it represents the wood of the cross, the means of our salvation. The gold leaf, the gold that we use, hopefully that's getting a nice shimmer there. The gold that we use represents, does not represent power or money uh, it represents the uncreated light of God's presence because where the people are now, they dwell without the benefit or the, the need of light. Sure. Because the Lord is their light, the Lord God is their light, and they shall reign forever. And that is what the gold symbolizes. Wow, and the light beautiful. comes from within. There is no exterior light source on an icon. They radiate from within. Great. That's amazing. Now, how long have you been involved in this? You know, Clearly, you've embraced the spirituality and the artistic expression. Uh, twenty years. Uh, I've been. Uh, it's 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 twenty years this year that I've been writing icons, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to have my studio at St. Gregory the Great Parish, where I've been for twenty years. Yeah. Part of a wider initiative yep. uh, called the uh, the Evangelization Through the Arts. Great. I want to talk about that. Yeah. So, so there you are in in a Chicago uh, parish, and. Your hope is to have people involved in the arts and, and understand the beauty and sacred beauty. That's the whole point of the of the uh, of, of the evangelization through the arts, because in a very in a very real sense, we want to show people the beauty of God, the holiness of beauty, the beauty of holiness. Yeah. But in a way that evangelizes through beauty, so we don't go on street corners and and, and try to proselytize. We invite people in to experience the beauty of God's holiness in many different forms. It could be poetry, it could be music, it could be theater, uh, chamber music, or iconography. So it's part of a wider initiative that we, we feel dovetails with the mission of the church in the okay. new millennium. Sure, that's amazing. So we're gonna have to talk about that at a future time. That would be wonderful, sure. I'd love to. But let's get to the book. Yes. Because um, this allows the book, is entitled Drawing Closer to Christ. Mm -hmm. And it allows us the opportunity to experience the writing of an icon. So tell Correct. us a little bit about the book. Well, the way that we envisioned, and uh, the good folks at Ave Maria Press had a novel approach, which is, why don't we uh, do an icon, write an icon, um, and do it in a way that it would appeal to the novice, somebody who's terrified, somebody sure. who has, some people have already told me, they can't even draw stick figures. And like I told her, neither can I, <laughs> confidentially. But the, the whole point of the book is that you're not going to be inhibited by your fear of 
a lack of artistic prowess. Okay. You're being called to this process because of the spirit. The spirit is moving you. Therefore, it's a journey. It's not an art class. It's a journey getting to know someone and deepening that relationship through prayer. So it's a step-by-step -step process in which fear is left at the door and you're simply in, in, embarking on a prayerful journey in silence in order to reveal this image and let the glory of God's light shine through it. That's beautiful. Yeah. And the book comes out sometime in December? Uh, December, in, right in time for Christmas. So. Right. So it would be a great stocking stuffer, a great Christmas gift, and looking ahead maybe for Valentine's Day. Absolutely. It's an evergreen gift, and so hopefully throughout the year people will be able to find a way to dovetail it and integrate it into their lives in prayer. Great. Thanks so much. Now, Thank where you. can people learn more about your work and get their own copy of the book? Uh, the book is available uh, at the Ave Maria Press um, website, www.avemariapress.com. Uh, Com. I'm sorry, I'm being That's prompted, right. as you can see. <laughs> and then uh, they could learn more about my work that I'm doing at www.trinityicons.com or at the website for St. Gregory the Great Church in Chicago. Great, thanks. We love Chicago. We love airing uh, Catholic Chicago from the Archdiocese. So thanks so much for being with Thank us. You, Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, beautiful work. Thank you. It's nice to talk Thank with you. Thank you. Thank you. And now back to the rest of This is the Day.